here we go. This is happening. Atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. The rule of As law. As the public grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Oh no! You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is... The game was rigged from the start. Ooh, that was intense. Chandler Big just shot us in the head. 
And there will be brain trauma because I'm about to go out into the desert and do a whole bunch of stupid things. Hey everybody. Gosh. I am playing Fallout New Vegas Game of the Year Edition. Barely awake. Oh, easy there, easy. You've been cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I don't know if the name of the channel gave it away, but this is my name. Even though Doc Mitchell is about to object to it. I can't say it's what I'd have paid for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Oh boy. Okay, so what does post brain trauma look like okay I'm just gonna do a preset thing because it's just kind of tiresome to fiddle with all the things this is a good nose I like this nose hmm I guess this one. Age. I would like to play as an old woman, thank you very much. I really like the idea of a very old, yet very sprite old lady running around the wasteland. Nope. Ugh, no. I'm gonna go for something highly femme. Not that. This is when you drink too much of Cass's moonshine. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, I really don't like the options. I mean, these are fun, and I can get a haircut at some point, but I'm gonna do this. So, this is my second time playing this, so I know a lot of the stuff, but I wanna explore more stuff, like see what other quests I can open up. A sophisticate? No. Domestic goddess it is, and we'll just have to, hmm. Where is the seductress? Hmm. I do like the idea of a, an old woman seductress. Like, I, I like the idea of an old woman anything in this game. Yeah. This is it. I like it. And hair color. We... I have... Okay. I'm gonna go for just, like, silver fox. Where's Silver Fox? Steel, this one. Yes. Lovely. Let's do this. Yeah, so this is the Game of the Year edition. Uh, so I have all of the DLCs. I don't really play with mods because like my laptop is kind of old. Like this old woman but like in laptop years. Um, so I just don't want to do anything to jeopardize uh, my playing experience and I don't want to do anything that's going to complicate things technologically. So yeah, this is me, Rue. Well, anyway. 
stuff that matters. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. Let's not take it slow. Mm -hmm. I first have to do the thingy. I love this interface, this special interface. Oh, Doc Mitchell, you're so lovely. You saved my life. Help me rise from the ashes like Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna go for a uh, low strength, even though it's probably going to kill me on carry weight. Uh, so aim lightweight. Perception. Hmm. I do know what kind of skills I want to tag. So, yeah. Hmm. I think I want a bit more perception for now. There'll be ways to modify that. Endurance seems okay. On our I, I usually just play ranged, and then when I get like super uber powerful, I go for some melee for for fun. Um. So let's put like four endurance. We can adjust that on the way. Totally charismatic, yes. Diplomat. Yes, thank you very much. Intelligence is my favorite and charisma. Like, you know, speech checks just make the, the game more fun and more varied it's like the the skill um so i can't help but choose that so we have a big intelligence we can augment those in the future any of oh mm, this is action point i don't know how i mean i'm gonna be using vats and I am going to invest in sneak, but for now, this is fine. And I'm gonna add an extra point of luck. Let me just check. Uh, hmm. Maybe, no. You know what, I'm gonna own it and see what happens. It's fine. Uh, the weird part about playing a game again is that you, you just get all tripped up in things that you know you'll need and all kinds of checks that you'll need. But maybe it's not going to be as fun if my brain keeps doing that. So I'm just going to urge it. Just please stop. This is for fun. Look at that. Maybe that bullet's done your brain some good. Probably. <laughs> what do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Hey, I look good for my age. Let's see if my dogs are still good for barking. Aw, no bark. But, um, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Ah... Uh kick train oh train i was just thinking you know of the choo-choo locomotive thing uh no train dog no cat house mm. investment that's the capitalist option isn't it um shelter night hmm i like these options hard to choose from them 
I'm gonna go with Dream. Bandit. Crush. <laughs> Is it like a horny jail thing to say? Is it like a crush? Aw, you're so cute, you bandit. Uh, but no, probably it's just like... Uh, so I'm gonna go with Vaporize because I have an inkling what that leads to. Light. Mm. Dark. You cannot separate the two. Mother. Um, human shield is just like the worst thing. Um, cookie jar. I mean, I guess jeans. Okay. Now For I my character, at least. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, my character is quite anti authoritarian. Um, so that comes with a lot of conflict. Um, I guess disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I disagree. I mean, maybe until now, but I'm gonna need help now to do all the things right after I've been shot. And he helped me. So it's nice to be helped, right? It's nice to let people help you. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Well, with the charisma I have, I'm gonna have to agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I'm going to strongly disagree with this. I'm a f***ing rebel. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Hmm. I'm gonna be neutral on this because it varies from situation to situation. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. The Rorschach is my favorite part. Um, hmm. I don't see a shadow in a door frame here. I don't. I see a chemical reaction. Broken chain. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> I mean, I I've seen a few Let's Plays of Fallout New Vegas and it's always like there most of the people think that this is like a, you know, boy genital thing, but like that this is a Giorgio O'Keefe painting. Like that's the whole I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. That's definitely um it's 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 a vulva. It looks exactly like a vulva. That's the joke. And it's it's nice. It, le it looks exactly like a vulva, but I can't give this answer because I'm not embarrassed to say that it looks like like a vulva. So I am going to have to say piece of space age technology because I am technologically minded. Last one. Yeah, I know. Two bears high fiving. <laughs> um. Not a bearded man. Mushroom cloud. Ugh, no. Um, I don't see the head on a pillow thing. Let's say a light in the darkness. Well, because I'm hopeful. She wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. Well, energy weapons, yes, but science, no. And explosives, no, no. I'm I don't really like explosives that much, so I'm gonna go with lockpick and speech because they make the game super fun, and I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. What more, Doc Mitchell? Oh. Okay, let's choose traits. Well, I'm going to go with... Uh, mm, 
not skilled. I'm gonna go with where's gift? Isn't gifted a thing? I can offset this with a perk in the future. Um, and I would rather have this. Or uh, I could get four eyes, which would be fun. Um, that's free perception. Hmm. And I'm gonna get Wild Wasteland because it's fun. Um, I'm gonna pick... Oh no, good natured. Good natured, I want a good natured. I don't know how I'll do, but maybe I will try to do a bit less killing in this playthrough. Um, maybe it would have helped if I had tagged Sneak, but uh... Uh, speech is important. I it makes the game more fun, and uh, I really don't want to leave any unlock picked things behind me. So I'm just gonna get on that really quickly. Um, and yeah, and energy weapons. You know, they're energy weapons. Maybe I should have just All gotten right. sneak. Come with me, I'll see you out. But I haven't looted the place yet. <laughs> How, um, I mean, um, accepted your graceful generosity, Doc Mitchell. You are such a lovely human. Should I take the... Um, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doc Mitchell. You bring me into your house. You heal me. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Okay. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you Pip boy. This. They call it a Pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Aww. Aww. Just Doc Mitchell, he is such a good natured man. He's just a sweetheart. Thanks, Doc. Thanks for patching me don't up, Doc. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try, but uh, I'm not gonna do hardcore. Uh, and that's mostly because the idea of having ammo that weighs things is just scary to me. The whole idea of um, having to drink water and eat, I mean, that's super fun uh, in my book. Yeah, just finding places to sleep and such. But also the, the healing over time using stim packs. No, I'm, I'm a messy biatch when it comes to gaming and that might pose a problem and I'm just trying to have a, a stress-free experience so this is all about fun remember guys guys from the future or whoever is watching in in the present this is for fun okay this is not about my skills as a gamer okay so no activating of hardcore mode thank you I completed a quest All right, now let's do some, I mean, blood packs, as far as I know, aren't useful, but that one, that thing is. I mean, this heals one hit point. What use is it? Unless there's some sort of recipe that I forgot where you can use it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it just to be sure. Wait, wait, don't go to sleep before we can talk. 
Let's just just I, I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. Just want to know more about you. Tell me about yourself, doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. All right. Um, you said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Hmm. That's mysterious. Oh, gosh. I'm going to manipulate him into giving me more medical supplies. But, you know. It's experience. Of course. You've been through a lot. It ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain flares up. And also, Chandler Bing shot me in the head. Did you know this? But he ain't a fink. Ugh. That rascal. Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. What else can you tell me about Good Springs? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Um, could you give me... No, I don't want to do that. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. Hmm. Keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. I respect your opinion, Doc. You seem to have a good instinct for people. Or, and or robots. Mm hmm Do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Alright. Thanks, Doc. You take Thank you for everything. I pressed that on accident. But yeah, I will try not to do that anymore. And I will I mean I will take everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the whole vendetta thing. Uh, and, you know, uncover things, and my brain hurts, and, you know, just gotta do what you gotta do, anti-venom, that's good. Hmm, yes, 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 I will have the laser pistol, please. Thank you. The crutch, I'm sure you can craft something with it, I think, but uh, I will find this everywhere. This I will need to craft doctor's bags, but uh, it weighs one. Fine. Uh, it's going to be hard for the first leg of the game with all the things. Uh, and by all the things I'm, that I so eloquently put, um, <laughs> oh gosh, brain freeze. Um, yeah, with all the things, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Let's move on. I meant storage. Um, I'm obviously a hoarder because most players are hoarders. 
so it's gonna get complicated but then it's gonna get like too easy and everything will be bountiful do I want Stimpax or drugs um, you know what I want some drugs thank you the thing is uh, you know when I played Fallout 1 and 2 10 years ago or possibly 15 I was so afraid of using the drugs in game I was like so afraid of being addicted and it still happened to me when I first played this but then at some point I just started using drugs and it was fun <laughs> so I'm not going back <laughs> and this is going to be like a you know I, I had brain trauma uh, I'm still I'm, I'm rediscovering my personality in a way you know I experience and maybe I will turn to drugs a little foolishly I want the knife hmm uh, okay I would feel bad but the game wants you to do this like, it's why it put all of these things in you. They're not red. You can't steal them. You're not- I'm not stealing. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up, everybody. And yeah, I like to collect each, each thing individually because it's more fun like that. <laughs> it's looting for me and just gathering all of the things. It's just so relaxing. No, this game is brilliant because at some point I found something on a on a wardrobe or high shelves by jumping and after that I just never stopped jumping to look at all of the shelves all the time so that is what you're in for right now ooh cigarettes yeah I want some stale cigarettes and I'm, I'm not clear on the cigarettes um in this world like are they pre-war cigarettes because they would probably be incredibly dry and unsmokable and stale uh, so I don't know oh so it's a sarsaparilla yes we're on the hunt uh, do I want any of this uh, I want this maybe the scotch I'm already so full did I really did I take everything uh, I don't know do I remember there being more things to take in his house was I here yeah. I also sometimes have some issues with like recognizing things visually in games like processing visually so I will also be getting glossed a lot and maybe backtracking to make sure I haven't missed anything uh, but yeah I think I'm ready I think I'm ready let's check on the boy the pips pip hip um, all weapons fall under weapon skill category that determines how effective the weapon is guns energy weapons explosives melee weapons or unarmed compare the small icon below and to the left of the weapons icon to the icon shown on the pip boy skill menu damn dps these indicate the base damage and damage per second okay weapons with low damn have difficulty penetrating armor okay oh well, uh, it's, I, it, these things are usually hard to follow for me so I'll just do it very instinctively and by trial and error and see this weapon works this weapon doesn't maybe it'd be more useful to understand why this weapon works and why this weapon doesn't but uh, you know maybe I'll learn in time mm-hmm okay strength or skill alrighty then I do not have the patience to look at all of that Okay, DT, condition. I mean, if you want me to read all of the things, like these intro things, 
it's kind of too late because all the you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop this I'm gonna leave it to him um, I'm gonna be wearing the vault 21 jumpsuit for now do I have glasses I have reading glasses I think that would be cute mm, and what will I equip uh, I will equip this for now and yeah let's do this oh we have to I already have so many things where is my oh data I was just playing a bit of Fallout 4 so I'm a bit mixed up on some of the keys but I'll get right into it um, Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vega Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on, com bonus on completion 250 caps. Manifest. This package contains 1. 1. Oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the del delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. That is like such a bad contract. Such a bad contract. And I could, I could say more about that, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to ease myself into the game then comment on bullcrap like this. I, I, I got shot in the head, but I'm still liable. I almost died. Chandler Bing shot me. I cannot stress that enough. Um, failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus. Criminal charges. Sure, I'd, li I'd love to see them try. And or pursuit by mercenary reclamation teams. I would also love to see them try. The Mojave Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of said reclamation efforts. All right. And that said, goodbye, Doc Mitchell. Um, hope to see you again under good circumstances. Let's look at ourselves. Yeah. Yes, indeedy. Now, let's go. Woo. Go to Vegas! Yes, I love Old World Blues. We'll get to that. DLC stuff, I'm just gonna okay everything. It's not super relevant and... All right, well. Here we are, Good Springs. I am going to stop here and uh, see you next time.